All right, I am now using my assets, setting them up to create my first keyframe, which is an establishing shot of my environment, introducing this setting. And it's only doing it within this square, right? So what I did is I merged everything onto this one layer and then selected this square using my guides out of it. And now I copy it, Command C. This is from my assets file. Now I need to move that into a new Photoshop file. So I say File New. And then this is going to be, I don't know why it's only two pixels, let's see. Copy. So I say Edit Copy on that layer. Now I say File New. And it's going to be 800 pixels by 800 pixels in inches. That is 8 by 8 inches at 100 pixels per inch. Right? And I create this, and now I'm going to call this, well, first, now I edit and paste. And it will put that frame in. Right? And so that's my first keyframe. This is now what we call the stage. So I'm going to say file, save as. I'm going to use my semester code, put my name in. And this is assignment three, stage. It's a stage file. It's going to be a PSD. It's going to have lots of layers, but each layer is going to be one shot of my animation. So this is like... In a stop motion film, you pose your characters, you light it, you put them on the set, and then you step away and you take the picture. And that picture is what goes into the film. So our assets file, I'm gonna have them both open now. Our assets file is where I set everything up, turning layers on and off, creating new assets as I need them. And then I merge them, copy it, that's taking the shot, and then I paste that copy as a new film shot. So just to show you this really quickly, even before I introduce my character, I can just play with the atmosphere for the next shot. For instance, I could take that whole group of atmosphere, which includes the little white layer, right? And I can play with its opacity. But first, when I come back to my assets, I need to delete the merged layer. So I'm going to go to my atmosphere now, and I'm going to take it down to 77%. Why not? And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. Okay. Then I'm going to use my rectangular marquee, hold down Shift, start at the guide, go all the way to the other guide, and I'm going to hit Command C, copy, or I can go up to edit and copy. Then I'm going to go to my stage file and I'm going to say edit, paste. And now I have two frames. And all that happened in that frame is the atmosphere changed a little bit. Started to open up a little bit. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to delete this. First I have to deselect, then delete, then take the atmosphere from 77 down to 63. Right? Then I hold down Option. I say Layer, Merge Visible, while holding down Option. Then I use my Rectangular Marquee. I can hold down Shift to make sure I get a perfect square, which is not a bad idea. Then I say Edit Copy, which is Command C. Then I go to my stage, and I go Edit Paste, which is Command V. And I've got a third frame. Now, if I wanted to animate this, I do my animation tests on the stage. And you'll see why. To do an animation test, you go to Window, and you, you find Timeline. And then on Timeline, you're going to say, it's going to say Create Video Timeline. You're going to do the drop down and say, I want a frame animation. And you're going to click on Create Frame Animation. Then you're going to click on the Timeline Window Options in the upper right-hand corner of that window, and you're going to say Make Frames from Layers. 
So these are not layers. These are animation frames. They're just outputted from our layers. And I have a blank white one because the background still there is blank white. So I'm going to delete that. And I don't delete it by hitting delete. If I hit delete, look what happened. It deleted whatever layer I had selected. So instead, I delete the frame by dragging it to the little trash can in the tool. Now I have the option of playing it through forever at zero seconds. But zero seconds isn't a very entertaining animation time. If I do that, it's just going to strobe. right? So instead, I want to select them all by holding down Shift. And I'm going to use a default timing that I like, which is 0.3 seconds. So it's roughly three frames per second. And then I'm going to play it through forever. And then I can see what happens. Those might be the first three frames of my animation. Right? OK, now here's the kicker. If I leave that animation test running, if I leave those timeline frames, and then I bring in a new element. So let's say I come back here. I delete the merged one. And I now introduce my character. Like all of a sudden he's in it. And I set it up. So I duplicate the character. And I flip him. Because this is going to be for this frame. Flip him horizontally. And I pose him and shrink him. Kind of have him coming from the background. Maybe from behind the mountains. I'll start him right here. Maybe I even want to sink him behind the waffles. There we go. So I'm going to mark him green. So my character stuff. Yeah, maybe I'm going to introduce him. So it starts like this, and this will be the first frame where I introduce him. Like that. Now, just like I did with the sun, I'm going to duplicate, and I'm going to make the next frame. And for this, he's going to get a little bigger. Command T. It's great if this can be a smart object, because then he stays nice and sharp each time. He's just going to get a little bigger, not too much, but he's going to go in front of the waffles now, like so. So it's going to go from this to this. Make sense? Right. OK, so let's see. Those are my next two frames. So watch what happens. I turned him on. I've started playing with the atmosphere. Now I'm going to start playing with it again. I'm just going to turn it now back up to like 60 to about 67, just slight. Okay, now I'm going to hold down. Hold down um, option. Go to layer, merge visible. And then I'm going to use my rectangular marquee. I'm going to hold down shift, get the frame, command C, go to my stage, and command V. So the problem is when I added that layer, it doesn't add to my timeline. Instead, it just changes the last frame of my timeline. So this is the reason. We call them animation tests. Because when you run them, you just see how it works. And then you have to remove all of your frames from your timeline. There'll always be one in there. But now I can run a new animation. So you see the arm there? Now I can do it again. But let's, let's add another frame before I do that. So now I'm going to... Deselect, delete that, merge, play with the atmosphere a little bit. Let's move it back 
up to about 74. I'm just pushing it back and forth. And now I'm going to put my creature there. And now if I want it, I can start moving my sun. But now I need to remember that. So I have atmosphere, creature, sun. <laughs> I'm going to move my sun into its next position. Okay, so now, which might be a little distracting. So actually, I'm not going to do the sun. Because you don't want to introduce the character at the same time as you introduce a moving sun. One less thing to worry about. Okay, so now I'm going to go up to that atmosphere layer. I'm going to hold down Option. And I'm going to say Layer, Merge Visible. It takes the photo, right? Then I use my rectangular marquee, which is basically the tool I'm staying on. Grab that square. Copy it, Command C, go to my stage, Command V. There he is. Okay, so now that's basically my first keyframe to my second keyframe. So let's run an animation test for that. I'm in my timeline. I go to the options. I say make frames from layers. I move the white background layer to the trash. I select shift and set the timing for all of these. I like 0.3. I say OK, and then I hit play. And you can see how my character gets introduced. So yeah, we can freeze it, and we can see it. So you can see each frame. Oh, yeah, you see the little mohawk behind? Yeah, so that's great. So that's a good reason to run animation tests. And, and sure enough, it's because I have both of these on, you know, and I need to turn one off. So in your case, you layer made a merge visible mm -hmm. and selecting above the top layer to get a new picture. Basically. Yes, a combined yeah shot of it all. So I'm not, oh, I am keeping them. I'm just putting them on the stage. Okay. You're putting them on the stage by dragging them over? By copying and then pasting. Okay. Now that's important because when you copy and paste it in an exact square to an exact square, it will always lock right into the right area, right? If you drag them over or if you don't have quite the right proportions, you're going to get like a, a jittery camera basically with each frame. So let me demonstrate it again. So now I can just delete this layer, right? But I also need to, because I just ran an animation test, put all those to the trash. So this is my last layer. Now I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to Atmosphere. I'm going to hold down Option. I'm going to say Layer, Merge, Visible. I'll also tell you why, why I'm deleting them. And then Shift, select it. Copy it, paste it, it will go on top, it will lock in exactly. Now when I come back, the reason I need to delete it, I have to deselect and then delete this merged layer, is because otherwise I would have to turn them all off before I could even see what I'm building again. Well, you can turn it off since it's still over there. It's only one every time. Yeah. Step, yeah. It just, it's, it's really a there's not really a benefit because, you got them on the other because you've got them on the other one. And you want to know how you built them, but you set that up with how you organize your assets. So you don't, you don't want to animate in such a way that when I build the next frame, I destroy the components that are needed to remake this frame. Does that make sense? So when I move this character, instead of taking this layer and then changing that layer, right, which would make it so I don't have the components to make the last frame, instead I duplicate it, turn the one off below it, and then make this guy, the duplicate, bigger and more in front. You're duplicating it every Each time. And that's why digital is so helpful for animation, because it can make those perfect copies. 
And not only am I duplicating it, I'm duplicating it with its drop shadow, which is affecting the.